Ladies, gentlemen, and every magnificent thing between and outside, this is the Envoy of Kairos, back for more Freedom Planet. And, uh, this should be episode 13, so let's hope my luck doesn't turn out absolutely shit. But, our next level seems to be the lakes on the way to the top of the volcano. That should be interesting. Syntax is here too? It's like... well, it's like a jungle in here. Hey! Get away from her! She's mine! Oh, but she's very dangerous! You should let us big sisters take care of her. No! She's the heart of my latest greatest buddy yet! The BFF 3000! With her as the conduit, all three combiners can be operated by a single pilot! Oh, great. Maximum action, maximum firepower, maximum... I get the feeling we're about to find out. Probably teleported back to Serpent Team. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hello, indeed. So kind of you to fix my throne for me, monkey boy. Hey! No fair cheating, you cheater! I am not cheating! I'm just smarter than you. And now nothing will stop me from... As I would say, okay, who's throwing those? Stop me from You'll be sorry when Murga shows up. We're gonna wake up Bakunawa, and she's gonna take me to outer space. Space! Ha! That's what she's doing this for. Really? Join me. The great and generously giving Lord Brevin is always looking for new recruits. Don't listen to him. His offers are steeped in lies and deceit. And you, dog! I repeat my offer! Or would you rather your friend learn the truth? What truth? What? That you're a miserable snake? Join me, little one! And you may yet live to see your parents! So you're not only a cheat, but a liar, too! Brevin sure knows how to pick them. Fine! Then witness the power of a fully operational syntax! Oh boy. Code black. As you wish, sir. Wait. Oh god, it's gonna be a black dragon, isn't it? No! My playmates! <laughs> oh no. Yes! He converted all of is perfection! Your army is mine now! Go forth! Eliminate them! Oh shit. In light of our mutually assured destruction, I believe a truce is in order. Agreed. Well, shit. Taking over an entire army like that, that's fucked. Breaking these Brevin bots is easy enough. Uh, looks like this is a full level, though. Oh. Okay, that's a cool feature. Nope, I'm going over that. some secret tucked down here. Oh, 
Gotta be careful about those spikes. Fire shield is a huge help. Shields a little more helpful around here. But a lightning one with that much power is real nice. Does that mean we're going to be controlling your mech? Okay, these bots are a real pain in my ass. Okay, this path is definitely different. second one. And the next one's straight down. Seems like it's underwater. Ah, it's right there. I can already see how to access it. Okay. Got all the parts. <laughs> I'm invincible. Hey, Snake. Uh-huh. Got a surprise for ya. Fighters, activate. Um, do we do something now or say activate? Oh, okay. <clears throat> activate. Activate. No, no, no. We all have to uh, really? at the same time. You cannot be serious. 
That song and dance routine is required for this thing to function. Get out of my sight, eyesore! Oh, jeez. Now do we get do we get to control this thing? Oh yes. This thing just destroys everything on contact. Sadly, it's not very mobile. It may have that dash, but doing anything more with it is not quite doable. Looks like this level is definitely made with it in mind, though. Oh! Cool. And charging the spark is a super dash. Charging a dash is like a like shine spark. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna destroy these bots. Oh. Boss scale ones are capable of harming me. Though they barely do anything. Taking way too many hits here. Ah, shit. He's got his own missile barrage. And my dash doesn't seem to do anything to him. Okay. Having to get used to fighting this guy with a completely different control scheme. Oh. And they rewound me to here. Okay, well, just spamming my laser seems to have the most effective damage results. Because you can't do much to block this many hits in a row. And it completely destroys his missiles before they can hit me. That was kind of simple. 
We've already proven the syntax is very fallible. So I don't know where you got that from. Get fucked, serpent. We already took Santax and left. Oh! <laughs> you guys are jerks! I felt bad. That was a little mean. Was kidnapping Mayor Zhao and having a hand in Shang Tu's downfall not also a little mean? I'm just glad that's over with. Mm hmm. Lilac, about what Serpentine said. It's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I'd trust you over Snake Man any day of the week. Hmm. And when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Now, let's go find Carol. Okay! Hmm. I get the feeling her parents were actually scientists under Brevin's command. You don't seem all that hung up about Carol. Carol's Carol, I guess. Still has to do things her way. She hasn't changed at all. Not in the way you did, right? What's that supposed to mean? Just saying, you can't blame your friends for not growing up as fast as you. Oh yeah, mm. like you gave me a choice. And you're still holding on to that. You stole me from my family before I was even hatched. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. That explains a lot. I was a kid, a kid who needed to get in good with the scarves. I'm sorry that I picked your egg, but that's how it was. We're lucky that I even found my way back. Lucky? Lucky that I never got to know my parents? Uh. Lucky that I discovered I was a living trophy? They wanted the egg for the pool room. It was luck... It was good that they didn't mind when you hatched. Things could have gone a whole lot worse. I have a criminal record from being raised by a bunch of thieves, Spade. I lived in the woods because my wanted posters were everywhere. Mm. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry that your life didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. I made some bad decisions, brought you along for the ride, and now we're here, okay? It's not okay. And I'm sorry about that, too. Hmm. This is why we don't talk. Question is, were there even any parents wherever her egg was? Because I get the feeling... She might have actually been left in incubation somewhere for a very long time. <laughs> Just gotta see if any of the citizens have anything interesting to say. Looks like this guy's got something new in the shop, or... Oh, no. Right, this is just the gem exchange. Well, I can afford a couple. Things would be going relatively peacefully in town. Guess I've just got to pick my next mission. What do we have in your shop that's new? Doesn't seem to be anything new. Just the stuff I've already bought. I wish there was some way to expand the amount of potions I can have. Or the amount of 
potion of space I have to equip with. Okay, well, I guess I just gotta go to the overworld to pick my next mission. And both of the next ones are difficulty four. Let's go for the Sky Paradise. This was on the news before you arrived. Brothers and sisters of Perusa, I, Captain Kalau, have returned to resolve your looming volcanic crisis. Hmm. With the power of geothermal science and my superb physical strength, I shall divert all of that harmful subterranean pressure and siphon it into the sea where it shall be rendered harmless. Worry not and rejoice, good citizens. The Red Wing of Justice is on the case. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right about the captain's plan. And the signs they've got seem to bit off. Well, besides that, Captain Cornball over there has been setting up beacons all over the island. Probably of course he has. Part of his egotistical plan. Ooh, shiny! Dip, dip, dip! They can't hmm. be for anything benign. Let's seek them out and disable them. Post haste. Well, that's an interesting goal. Oh, this is gonna be a real fun map. Let's do it. Would Captain earnestly be trying to save his people? If so, then perhaps it is not too late for him to see reason. You ladies be careful! Let's see, I'm going to add the Shadow Guard. Yeah. Alright, that's the best I can do. Let's start this up. Should have enough time to knock this level out in this episode. Oh! We have a Sky Chase style level. Nice. God, my aim is terrible with that uppercut. Another mech with a dual fire and water theme. Murgo really seems obsessed with that. We've landed. Cyclone! Okay, definite Sky Sanctuary vibes here. Oh, that's cool. Well, still got up here. Oh, 
Okay, this one has got a water and earth theme. Okay, those crystals are a huge threat. And got it. Oh. Love those rockets. Yeah, that was a good shortcut. Okay, and this one's all four elements. seen the wind one until this now. Oh, it's not wind, that's bugs. Giant robotic bugs. That ain't cool. Got it. Took a lot of hits, but I got it. I managed to get my health fully restored, too. Shield. Cyclone. I'm getting that chest. Ha. That's a lot of crystals. Okay, another four element mech. Gotta keep a close eye on what elements it's using. Blood, I already got it. I barely got tapped. Until I just stood there in the middle of that crystal barrage. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Only one person I know talks like that. Yeah. What? It's just you? Well, I suppose you will have to do. Really? Say your absolute worst, villain. Go on. Let everyone see you for the splenetic Shangtusian terrorist that you are. Your monstrous attacks on peace will be broadcast on every channel in Perusa. And I, Captain Kalau, will be the legendary hero who strikes you down. Really? This whole thing was about publicity? That's the reason you're working for Murga? Close up, please. Now really? witness the Red Wing of Justice reborn! This calls for a boss duel! Well, I've done more damage to him than he's done to me, so... Successful so far.
Oh, I am smacking this guy the fuck up. Come on, Captain, can't do better than that. Now you've done it. Captain Crush. I am the terror that hurts for justice. Oh. Another face. Ow. Okay, that hurt. A lot. Ugh, hitting this guy at all in this kind of condition is a pain in the ass. one more hit. And now I can't take any more hits. You call yourself a hero? Okay, then. Can't seem to hit that last bit of health up there. Doesn't look like I need it, though. The elemental burst damage on its own finished him. Later, Captain. Possible. Justice has fallen this day. More like your ego. Uh -huh. Incorrect, villain. Murga relayed to me the horrid tale of the Magister's foul crimes against this world. To fight against such inequity, I, Captain Kalau, would become the hero that Avalis deserves. So this is you jumping at the chance to be a hero for real, after playing one as the Battlesphere champion. Is that it? Hmm. Yep, all about his ego. Sphere champion. What kind of hero sits in a playground all day, waiting for evil to come to him? Hmm. I am a joke, an action figure. A fake legend prancing around for my beloved citizens' amusement. As if I could care any less about them sitting at home, stuffing their faces, watching me grapple for sport. But not anymore. This time, I will be the hero. This time, I will be the one who saves the world, and no one is going to stand in my way! It's all about your ego. Which is what Captain Kalau would say had Captain Kalau been brain-sucked by villainous shang Tujian terrorists. But fear not, good citizens. Mm -hmm. I, Captain Kalau, the Red Wing of Justice have broken free of their dastardly programming and will live on to fight another day. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I get the feeling the captain's out of the hero business. Yeah, no one's going to believe him after that broadcast. Guys, Corazon is here. I knew it. Don't wait for the rest of us. Use extreme caution. Oh. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time for that. Later.